Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and if this is your first time watching this video, my name is Kevin. I know that I've been gone for a while, um, probably like two, three weeks. Uh, I haven't been uploading as much as I was sick. Uh, and during that time, uh, I didn't really have motivation to post or I guess upload any videos. So now I'm back. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is changing tires from winter tires back to my summer tires. Uh, for my summers, they're already on uh, 18 inch wheels, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But what, what, what I'm going to try to do is see if my spacers that I have, um, right now that I'm running on with my winter tires, I wanna see if I can actually use it for my summer tires as well. Um, so we'll see if that's going to work or not, and then go from there. Enjoy. from super speed um, I believe this one is RF 05 RR um, this one is an 18 inch by eight and a half width I believe uh, with the center bore being 57.1 um, so I don't have to run a um, hub centric ring with it with these wheels uh, as it fits exactly same for the center bore as my factory wheels um, and for this one, this is 5x112, uh, so it's, it has been great. Uh, as you can see here, I did some little, I did some damage onto it. I did think about maybe getting it powder coated by sanding it all down and then just um, get it sandblasted and then powder coating it, but it costs quite a bit. So for now, I think what I'm going to be doing is just sand it down a little bit and then, um, and then use touch-up paint that I got, which is a flat black. So hopefully it, sh it, it should match pretty good. I'm going to start with a smaller um, space or a smaller surface and then we should be all good. Um, for the touch-up paint process, I'm not going to film it as I'm just going to be really using um, alcohol wipe or alcohol to just take all the debris off and then just sand it down a little bit with 500 uh, sandpaper 500 grit sandpaper and then just touch, touch, touch it up uh, this is the only wheel that has scuffs like this all the other wheels do have like small chips from being on the gravel road and things like that but other than that um, yeah these are pretty good wheels so what I will probably do is wash it and then uh, get that part going. But this is what's gonna go on. And as you can see, I have a different uh, tire valve stand, uh, tire valve cap, as I got it from AliExpress. And it was like 10 bucks for all four, I think. Um, 
it's a little bit different so I like it but this is what's gonna go on the on the tires uh, the tires that I'm running is a general G max AS05 uh, um, the tire size is 225 40 um, 1892 W so these are more of an all-season um, kind of performance tires these are cheap um, road noise is really not there and I find these ride really good for how much it costs I know there are other ones like I used to have Continental I didn't like it as much even though they are same company uh, General Tire is owned by Continental but I like the con uh, General Tires better than how Continental rides and also the price is so much better um, another thing is like I know there are other tire companies but for the price and for what I wanted to do for now um, these tires were uh, what I wanted to do so that is why I have these tires Okay, so I just put the wheels on, my summer wheels. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, the brakes are rusty from washing my car. Uh, this is what it looks like for the back. I'll show you guys the fitment. So I have 10 mil spacer in the front and 15 mil spacer in the back and the fitment looks like this it's, it's a little poking and same thing for the other side a little poking same thing for the back uh, it's not as aggressive as the front but it still looks pretty good um, so now what I'm going to be doing is I already checked the tire pressure and all of them are uh, the same as what it says on the um, door. Uh, so the tire pressure is 39 PSI for front and back and then uh, uh, the lug bolt uh, torquage is I usually do 90 foot pounds. Um, just do that right now you never want to like push the torque wrench too fast you always want to just do it smoothly to get the right torque for your wheel uh, lug nuts or lug bolts and all four tires, the tire depth is 930 seconds, so they're pretty even. That's why you always want to check 
make sure, especially for these lug bolt style, tends to not sit properly in the beginning sometimes. So that's why you always want to torque it twice. And then I'm just going to show you this one. Hopefully the front won't rub. I don't think it will, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, just like that. Now you know how to change tires. Um, hopefully you guys have two sets of wheels and tires, um, especially if there's snow in your country. So now after you use your torque wrench, you'll always want to zero it out so the spring inside doesn't um, stretch. Because if the string, uh, spring inside stretches, you're not going to get the proper torqueage. Uh, and also make sure to retorque your wheels after about 150 kilometers or or 100 kilometers. I'll also put that in miles. Um, you always want to do that after you change your wheels or take your wheels off your vehicle um, just to be safe. So the lug, belt, lug bolts or lug nuts don't back out. Um, and then now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting all, all of these wheels back into their uh, bag and then put it up on the, put it on, put it up up there. you guys will be able to see this um, so now we have the wheels changed uh, what you want to do is go to car 
Um, settings. And then it says tires because Volkswagen doesn't have TPMS sensor in it. Uh, how it checks the tire pressure and everything is by, uh, through rolling resistance. And then as it says, confirm. And then now these are the uh, tires that this vehicle is going to be thinking. Um, obviously if one tire is low, that means the rolling resistance is different than other three tires so it's gonna throw a um, tire tire pressure um, light yeah so that is it uh, well that's the end of the video I hope you guys like this video of me changing winter tires to summer tires with uh, 10 mil and 15 mil um, spacers for the front and back uh, I'll, I'll link the description of the spacers that I have. Um, it's supposed to be like an 18 inch flush kit, but obviously because these are aftermarket wheels, the fitment is a little bit more aggressive. Um, I think I like it so far. I'll see if, I'll see if I'm going to be rubbing or not. If I don't, I'm going to run it. If I do, I'll let you guys for next video. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, leave a, well, no. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give a like and also comment on what I, what I could do next time uh, or video ideas and also subscribe to this channel. Thanks.